Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, we got some Hop Slam, or Hype Slam as I call it. Uh, this is a seriously overhyped beer in my opinion, guys. And they charge out the ass for this stuff. And still, it flies off of the shelf. I probably would not have bought this year's edition. But they, they're putting, the uh, Bells is putting their stuff in cans now. And then, uh, I haven't had any of this in the can. I haven't bought very many canned beers from Bell's. Uh, uh, most everything that I get to buy at a local grocery store, uh, the Two Hearted Ale and stuff, uh, comes in the bottles. I don't even have the cans now. I did notice that Martin is carrying the Two Hearted Ale in the cans when I was out there and I got this. Uh, I found out that this was in town, uh, was available here, and I called out there and uh, they had four cans left. So. Uh, I said, well, just put those four cans back, put my name on them, and I'll be out tomorrow and pick them up. Well, when I, t when I got out there, the four cans had uh, shrunk down to three cans. Somebody had scarfed one of them, so, which is fine with me. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of paying $4 uh, for a small can of beer like this, even though it's usually a tasty beer. Last year's edition was a little tastier than the previous two years. Uh, I, I found uh, that the... Uh, the uh, two years earlier than last year. Well, last year was uh, 2015, and the, uh, the, the 2014 and the 2013 edition were kind of boozy. So I wasn't impressed with it. Not as impressed as I was uh, the first time or two that I did have it. But uh, this stuff flies off the shelf, guys, and people stand in line for it, and they limit to how many you can get and all that kind of hype, and I'm not a big fan of that. I don't stand in line for beers anymore, or or jump through hoops, or or, or, or want to pay exorbitant prices uh, usually. Um, there are some exceptions, but uh, not typically. Uh, I just there's too many great beers out there just to uh, throw your money away on something that's overhyped. So we'll see where this one goes. Uh, I will tell you right off the bat, it does have some kind of dating uh, on the bottom of it, but whoever's in charge of uh, the dating machines got their head up their ass because half of what's stamped on the bottom is across the rim and across the side of the bottom of the thing so you can't even make out what the date's supposed to be so whoever's in charge of the dating machine it's on crack or something I don't have any idea I mean they can't even stamp it where you can read it they gotta run the dating across the, the rim and where you can't make out what it is so overhyped beer in my opinion guys it really is there are just as good of beers uh, uh, of course, they don't have the distribution that Bales has, uh, uh, but there are a lot of beers uh, coming out of New England and, uh, and other places that are just as tasty, if not tastier, than this beer is here. So, let's see what this year's edition brings. Uh, this is a 10 percenter. It is a big double IPA. Uh, IBUs on this one, it says 70. Uh, commercial description on this beer says, Starting with six different hop varietals added to the brew cattle and culminating with a massive dry hop edition of Simcoe, Bell's Hop Slam Ale possesses the most complex hopping schedule in Bell's repertoire. Selected specifically because of their aromatic qualities, these specific Northwest varieties contribute a pungent blend of grapefruit, stone fruit, and floral notes. A generous malt bill and a solid dollop of honey provide just enough body to keep the balance in check resulting in a remarkably drinkable edition of Double India Pale Ale Style. Right off the bat, they're throwing honey in there, well that's a fermentable sugar and the yeast is going to eat that up immediately. So, I, you know, a lot of people, you know, say, well I get the honey on the taste. 
I don't see how you're getting honey on the taste when the yeast is eating that up. There might be some residue in there from the honey, but uh, that is a fermentable sugar. So uh, the yeast is going to tear that ass, tear that ass up. So uh, just my opinion, guys. Just my opinion. Uh, Cuisine on this is barbecue, cheeses, pepper, Monterey, pepper, jack, sharp, blue cheddar, you more bun cheeses. Uh, and the meat is game, grilled meat and salmon, glass for a snifter, tulip oversized wine glass, my favorite glass today. And according to this, it says can be sold up for long periods. Nah, don't do it. Uh, unless you find it extremely boozy, that may subside a little bit. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. I would drink your IPAs and your double IPAs as fresh as you can get them. So, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's pop the cap on this one I haven't had. This will be the first one that I've done in the can. I do have three of them, and I haven't. This is the first one out of the three that I've, that I've opened up, so. About two fingers of head, maybe not quite, maybe a finger and three quarters over to the light is a nice gold golden, a nice uh, amber color, a lot of bubbles streaming up. Good looking beer, it really is. Let's get a nose on it. Definitely getting the hot presence there. Uh, this is a fairly fresh beer, I would think. Grapefruit, pineapple, very citrusy, maybe some tropical fruit notes in there, mango, apricots, tangerine, oranges, nice sweetness to it. Maybe there is some honey in there, but I would think personally, guys, that uh, the yeast it, it eats all that fermentable sugar up in the honey. Well, let's give it a taste. Seems to be very tasty this year. Not getting that big booziness like I have in previous years. Very nice. Very, very nice. Just wish it didn't have all the hype to go with it, guys. This year seems to be very tasty. Yeah, I think they've done a good job on it this year. I think it's just as tasty as last year. Maybe, maybe a, a, a little tastier. Because the 10% the is very well hidden in this edition. A little bit of alcohol on the nose. Very nice. Like I said, a can of this, a can of this is four bucks. So if you get a six pack, do the math. There's no price break, uh, and you sometimes you can't even get a six pack. I mean, I've seen this where you you're, they limit you to one and two bottles or two cans, and that's all you can get because the uh, the stuff flies off the shelf, and they they want more people to have it instead of one person or two people or by people buying up everything that they've got. So they they do that for that reason. So one person can't come in with deep pockets and say, uh, you got three cases? I want all three cases and nobody else gets any of it. So that's why they do that. So, but anyway, seems to be very tasty this year. Let's sip on it for a little while. Let her have a sip for two or three and we'll come back and give a final chug and grade on this one. Kind of impressive. Kind of pricey, but kind of impressive. I wish the dating machine would Hit the center of the can instead of halfway up the side and across the rim where you can't read it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. This has done about 30 minutes or so. It's a decent beer, guys. It's not blowing my hair back or my socks off. I have definitely had better 
double IPAs than what I'm getting out of this can. Now don't get me wrong, it's a nice tasty beer, but for all the hoops you have to jump through and, and as pricey as the beer is, uh, I don't guess four dollars is awful, too awful pricey. Uh, but to pay $24 for a six pack of these, that to me that's kind of pricey. Uh, there are there are just as good of beers that are half that for a six pack. So uh, it's okay. I mean, this year it doesn't seem to be as boozy as the uh, the 14 and the 13 editions was. But the, the dating on the bottom is just basically unreadable since it's across the rim of, of the can and, and down the side. You can't make out what it's supposed to say. And I know this, this is the brand new edition, uh, but you, you should be able to read that. I mean, if they're going to charge $4 for a can of it, they ought to be able to print the damn date on the center of the can where you can read the damn shit. So, uh, a lot of stuff. I have a little animosity toward this beer with all the hype that goes with it. Uh, even though it's a decent beer, it's, there are just as good of beers for less money out there. So, And I'm a fan of Bell's. Like I said, I, I drink uh, the Two Hearted Ale very regularly. So, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I, I will give it, it is an A beer, but it's not a 10 beer as far as I'm concerned. I don't judge. I'm going to give this the 8. I said A minus. It's an A beer. But not being able to read the date on the bottom of it, even though I know it's this year's edition, they need to do better than that. They can do better than that. They should do better than that. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to give it. If I was putting a numeric rating on this, guys, it would probably be a 92. That's where I would put it. Over to uh, Beer Advocate. They say 98 world class. And I would rate beer, they say 100. So those numbers were more impressive than what I'm giving it this year. Uh, I just don't like to have to jump through hoops. And uh, uh, like I said, I got some beers from, uh, from Treehouse that were just as tasty as this. Uh, and I don't think that they're as expensive as this. And of course, Treehouse is pretty small, and there are people standing in line for that beer. But. Uh, they're not producing nowhere near the amount that Bills is producing on this. So, I think of the, a lot of times they they like that hype. They they like to play on that hype, and they and they like for you to have to jump through hoops and and and, and pay uh, a lot of money for their beers, like you're really getting something special. Uh, it doesn't work with me too much anymore, though. Uh, it used to it used to, but it doesn't anymore. It's almost 2,000 beer reviews. I don't buy any of that horse shit no more. So, uh, decent beer. Not a 10 beer as far as I'm concerned. So, if you've had this year's Hop Slam, let me know what you think, guys. I may be a little critical on it, but uh, I'm just tired of the bullshit that has to go along with this, this particular beer. So, uh, let me know what you think of this year's edition, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.